What is the number one thing that determines if you're successful on Amazon? It's your product. If you don't have a good product, you'll never be successful on Amazon. If you have an amazing product, you're bound to be successful on Amazon. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you product research, some tips, some strategies that you've never heard of or never used before so you can be successful on Amazon. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP Consulting Group. We're a multi-million dollar Amazon consulting firm that helps sellers like you sell and succeed on Amazon. Let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing is making a list. So I'm gonna give you some examples on making a list. We're gonna go through some more strategies, but the first one is making a list. And here's an example. We have a client that has their own HVAC business. They fix AC units, they make sure the house is cold or it heats properly. And there's these special tools that you can use to fix AC units or you can even put UV lights in the AC units to kill bacteria. There's all these different things. So I talked to him and I said, hey, what special tools do you use? What do you use that nobody else uses or nobody else understands, right? And he's naming all these tools that I've never heard of before. We look on Amazon, there's only one competitor. So we went to China online, we didn't go in person, online, and we found these tools and he remade them, He's, he got them himself. He said, this needs to be ba made better, this needs to be copper, and we made an HVA tool, tool that dominates Amazon right now. It's the best in the game. He's got five stars, right? That's one example. Another example is an eye doctor. We have an eye doctor client. And I was like, what tools do you use at the eye exam? What tools do you, and he's naming all these brands, all these tools, we're looking at them. And then we found out that there's this eye drop that helps increase your eyelids. So what I'm getting to is, do you have any hobbies? Do you have any professions that you specialize in where you use specialized tools, right? Or specialized products? Do you have anything like that? Because you can double down on that, on something that you already know, and it's going to help you succeed on Amazon a lot faster right? Again, another idea is my friend does airsoft. He loves airsoft. He does it in his free time. He knows all the guns. So I said, do you have any ideas for an airsoft gun or an airsoft attachment? And he was able to make its airsoft device. And then we had China remake it and it was dominating Amazon again. So there's some ideas right there. You want to create a list. So have a list ready to go and we're gonna dive into some more ideas if you're not as creative. But make sure you start a list. So other than making a list, TikTok is another great way to find trends. Because usually the trends, they appear on TikTok first. And if you could do a trend first, you can dominate the market. There are some trends or some niche products that never become viral. And if you can find them first, then you can dominate the market. One that became, what like that's not viral right now is a kid's hat and it has, it, it's like a helmet, but it looks just like a regular hat. So they can kind of ride their bike and if they fall off, it looks just like a regular hat, not a helmet. So it looks fashionable for kids. Uh, so that's one item that's not viral right now. It's not even in the US. So if you launched it in the US, you could dominate. So you can just go to TikTok, new products, and just try to write down, click on their hashtags to try to find what's trending, hashtag new product to see if there's anything cool that stands out. And again, you just wanna be making a list right now. The goal is to make a list. Another idea is going to be Shark Tank. Shark Tank products, so you wanna type this in, allsharktankproducts.com, right? And you can find some really cool products to sell on Amazon, right? So this is a, a massage bar soap. So you can check how many competitors are there that sell massage, massage bar soap. Can you make it better? Check their negative reviews and all this stuff. Blinger, all these uh, interesting things. And a lot of these, again, haven't gone viral. Some of them aren't even actually hosted on Shark Tanks because Shark Tank can only show so many products on their t TV show. 
So uh, this could be a great option as well. And then another option is going to be checking other sellers' products. So you need to get on your computer and let's say you find something weird, right? Uh, female enhancement, right? And if you use, you can kind of multiply how many sales they're making. So a hundred times whatever, if they're making a solid amount of sales, or you think they have a cool product, what you do is you click on their product and you click on sold by and you can see their name. This is Amplicell Supplements. Scroll down, click see all products and you can see all of the products they sell. So look, they have, this one has 100 sales in the last month. This one has 50 sales in the last month. So you can find some different items from other competitors. So if you're like, oh, they're, doing, they're dominating one item, maybe you can look at their other items and you'll be surprised that there are some sellers that you find one item, you look at their products, and they have all these cool items, so they're all niched down. This is another great way to dominate Amazon and find really good products to sell, is by looking at other competitors. So find a weird product online on Shark Tank, type them in, and maybe you'll see a Chinese competitor. Look at all the Chinese products, because the Chinese, a lot of them, that's this is what they do full time is product research, and they find the best products, and you can pretty much dominate the market and see what they're selling. Because the Chinese listings usually are in broken English, so you can beat them out any day of the week. If you learned something so far, please do drop a like and a subscribe. I would really appreciate it, and we're gonna keep going into this video. Next is to write out a spreadsheet. So you have the list, right? You have the list. Now you wanna define the list even more, right? You're gonna look at the competitors on Amazon. Does the product have more than 10 competitors, right? The less competition, the better. Like I said with the HVAC tool that we created, that one only had one competitor. And so that one was great because the less competition, the better. Does the product have a 25% profit margin? So to find a profit margin, you actually need to find the product. So let's just do alibaba.com and let's do HVCA tools. We're looking and this is let's say $69. You can do what you do to find products on Alibaba is you just go to alibaba.com. This is where you find the Chinese manufacturers. Right click, copy image address. Click here, paste the image address, see if Alibaba can find it for you. This is usually the fastest way to do it. And if this doesn't work, you can also manually type in a low voltage thermostat. I see, I've never heard of this before. I think I've seen it before. Okay, this is, looks pretty close, this one. Okay, so you buy it for 98 and you sell it for 346. So what you wanna do is type in on Amazon and you go into Google, you type in Amazon profit calculator. Go here, continue as guest. You're gonna put this tool in. Here's the ASIN, put that in here. Item price, let's say you're selling yours for the same price. And then you're gonna put the cost of good. So the, the cost is like $98. And then you see your net profit margin is 53%. Okay, so this is kind of how you do it. I did that really quick, so I hope you got it. But we're gonna go back to the spreadsheet. And as you can see, 53% is amazing. So you want it to at least be good. 25% is good, 35% profit margin, 50% is amazing. So this would be a good product. We haven't done this first part yet, but this is a good checklist. Is there a barrier to entry? So there's some items that you need certifications to list on Amazon, right? You don't know until you actually list the product because Amazon doesn't tell you. So you have to actually go into your Amazon Seller Central account and go to add product and then you try to list this product or make a dummy listing and you make your own brand name and you list it yourself and you put all these keywords in. You put like manifold, gauge, set and see and put one in stock, put it as like a $500 item and see if Amazon kicks it off, right? And they, they might ask for documents. We need invoices. We need certifications that it's approved for this electronic thing. And then you'll figure out if there's a barrier to entry. If there is a barrier to entry, that's a good thing. You want a barrier to entry because barriers to entry means that once you get on Amazon, nobody's gonna be able to compete with you. Nobody wants to jump through those loopholes to get a product approved because it's so much harder. So you want a yes here. Especially if we can, obviously you need to get around the barrier to entry, 
but the manufacturer sometimes has the certificates already so you, for you to get around the barrier to entry. That's important. Is it a seasonal product? So if you're selling water guns, that's mainly gonna be sales in the summer. Some people like seasonal products, some people don't. I'm not a huge fan of your first product being a seasonal product because then you're only making sales in the summer. You wanna make sales all year round. This product will be used all year round. Do you think it has a patent, right? You wanna see if it says patent, control F. Does it say patent anywhere? Do you think it has a patent, right? Um, you can also hire an attorney or hire us to do a patent search for you uh, for uh, an expensive, we do it for a pretty inexpensive price. Some attorneys charge like upwards of a thousand for a patent search but it depends on the item. You can kind of do a patent search. You can look up into that. Is it a niche product? Multivitamins, everybody knows about. It's not niche. Niche pretty much means that it's very specific. This is a very specific product. Do you think China can come in and easily compete? This is, again, what do you think? This is very, it looks like it's very difficult to use and there's a lot to it, so I don't think China could just come in and compete because they have a lot of broken English and it, they'll get negative reviews because it's confusing and they don't know how to use it. But if it was like a vitamin, then yes. Are all the competitors making at least $5,000 a month? So this is when you do competitor analysis. You type in this, the AC manifold gauge set, and you can see how many competitors there are. And if they're all making five, these, these are different than what I'm looking at. Ours is premium. The one that we are looking at is way more premium. So you need to type in more to get this premium one. Cause this one's different than one that we just looked up. And then what would you rate the product, right? So you need to give it a rating. After you fill all this out, do you rate it as like Amazon ready or do you rate it as a zero? You wanna have at least five products that you can look at on this list. So you can kind of see, okay, you want probably seven, eights, nines and tens preferably eight, nines, and tens, and something with a good profit margin. That's my checklist. And if you like that checklist, please do drop a like and a subscribe to this video. I would really appreciate it. I'm giving out all of my secrets, and I hope you're learning something new in the process. And of course, we're gonna be going back to the manufacturer. So how do you know if the manufacturer is good? And of course, we've got a checklist for that too. <laughs> So you want to make things as easy as possible and you're going to miss things if you don't have checklists so you don't have things right, written down. So make sure you do. And when you're messaging these people, do they answer quickly? Is their grammar and English decent? How many years have they been in business, right? They've been in business for 15 years, so they're OGs. They've got ISO, they know what they're doing, right? They're even verified. So are they verified? That's a big part of it for Alibaba. Are they kind of respectful? There's some people who are really disrespectful. They're like, we, we won't do this. We won't, no, no, they're, you can tell when they're disrespectful. And then you give them a rating, right? You wanna, you wanna go through at least three to five manufacturers, depending on the item, sometimes it's more, and get that manufacturer that answers quickly. Answering quickly is usually 24, they answer every 24 hours, that's answering quickly in my professional opinion, because they're in China right now. So if it's 8 a.m. here, it's 8 p.m. there. So I give them 24 hours. And then you purchase this item. So let's say this manufacturer is good. I want a sample. You buy this sample and you buy the number one competitor on Amazon and you compare them. Your product needs to be better. So it's not going to be better initially, but it needs to be just as good or better and you need to add more features. So th that's, that's when you test the competitor's product. What does their instructions say? Take pictures, what's the size? What's their box? How premium it is it? And then look at their device, test it out. Get an HVAC dude over to test it out. What's better? Why is it better? Once you have that, you can say, how can I make mine better? You write down how you can make yours better. Talk to China, they can make anything. Then they'll make it better and then you can launch on Amazon and then everybody's gonna be like, this is the best thing since sliced bread and you can dominate it. Now, I went over a lot of things in this video, but I really hope that you did learn something new. Again, if you could drop a subscribe, I'm gonna be dropping much more content. Feel free to comment 
any new videos that you want me to create. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO and founder of EHP. And if you need help, feel free to contact ehpconsultantgroup.com. Talk to you soon.